Now on the undercard as well, uh, this is a big, big fight as well, is unbeaten lightweight boxer Campbell Hatton. He takes on Tom Ansel. Join us now is Campbell. Campbell, good morning. Morning, good mate. Morning, Thanks for having me on. Looking mean and lean. Yeah, ready to go now. We've got the way in tomorrow and uh, that's the last thing we've got to get out of the way then. And then the mind's, mind's on the job, so just dead excited. Opponent, Tom, is it Tom Ansel? Uh, he's, th- he's a 30-year-old now. Yeah, that's right. He's uh, another good step up for me. I think it's at the right time. It's good test. He's boxed around English title and uh, area title level, so... Uh, I think I'm on the doorstep of that myself. Now I've boxed a few uh, of my last opponents all. Uh, I've, I've boxed one lad who won the uh, area title and uh, I stopped him. And uh, my last opponent at the O2, Lewis Fielding, he, he only fell short of the area title by a point and I stopped him in a round. So I think I'm at, at that level now and it'll be my uh, toughest fight so far. Right. Uh, what about just a big one? Then we'll go on to uh, City as well. Uh, Helena, I don't know much about him. Uh, Wilder knocked him out, but then he can knock anyone out. Uh, Joshua, is it a problem for AJ? Suddenly, he's working. You know, he's working, looking at what Dillian White, who he's beaten already. That get that's off now. In less than a week later, he's got this fella. It, 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 can that be off uh, off putting for AJ that he's fighting somebody he doesn't really know about? Yeah, it's never ideal having no. a change of opponent this late on in the game and. Uh, Again, especially when you're at world level, um, I don't think many people would have really blamed him if uh, the fight hadn't have gone ahead, but I, I'm glad it has. But yeah. uh, again, I think AJ, they've got, a, they've got a perfect opponent in for me. I think he's good enough for the fight to still be credible. And, yeah. uh, but I still think it's a fight that AJ, even at short notice, should uh, deal with pretty comfortably when you say deal with him has he got to knock him out and be emphatic say right who's next I'm ready for a big fight yeah I think so when you're on the doorstep of um, a fight with Deontay Wilder you need I think you need confidence going into a fight like that you don't want to be standoffish against someone like no. Wilder where when you got power like that and it'll play into his hands so I think if he um, if it goes in there absolutely does a demolition job on uh, Hellenius and then mm. takes the confidence from that into the Wilder fight. So I think, yeah, I think he does need a bit of a statement win and uh, to shut up all his doubters. Yeah. We know your idol is uh, obviously your dad and we hear that you watch a lot of boxing. Who else do you like to take tips off and watch a lot of? Yeah, I like to watch, I watch loads of boxing. Uh, one that I've watched a lot of over the years is uh, Roberto Duran. Yeah. Uh, he, he's one of my favourites. Uh, more what? like more recent, like Canelo. Yes. Uh, so like, all the aggressive fighters, really, like your, your <laughs> Mexicans. Duran, that, that Duran was in was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, he, like all around that weight as well. Um, like back when were they, we all they, used to they, fight were each they other. Middleweights, middleweights. The yeah, so, and Sugar Ray. Yeah, so I think um, Duran started round round lightweight and finished it around super middle. So yeah, amazing. Like they made a different stuff back then. How yeah. do you feel as well about, we had this argument earlier with um, Adi Odilipo about we want to see all the big fights, we want to see people fighting each other, fighting each other twice, fighting more than once a year, you know? How do you feel about that, the way boxing, especially heavyweight, it's getting frustrating not seeing the fights happening? Yeah, it has been frustrating. We've seen the fights like Mayweather, Pacquiao and uh, Brook and Khan where they've happened like we we didn't even think they would happen for a, for a long while, but then they've happened when it was well well past its sell by day. Even though there was still massive events, and I think recently boxing has got a lot better on the whole. But it is the heavyweights that can't seem to get it over the line at the minute. Yeah. Like we've seen, like last week we had, we had um, Crawford, Spence, and the uh, in, in Uwe and we are getting these top fights, Garcia and. Um, and Davis so they are happening but the fights that your casual fans and the man on the street what I watch are the, the big lads knocking lumps out of each other and that hasn't seemed to uh, to been able to come off yet but again AJ Fury that's probably a fight that even if it was to happen pretty soon it's probably a little bit overdue it probably should have already happened and possibly a couple of times what about, um, I love Tyson a bit, so I think he's very clever uh, fighting this guy, you know, it, 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 does that 
is that a bit off putting? You know, he's not taking on, you know, a proper boxing match. He's taking on a fighter, a cage fighter, and stuff like that, or a wrestler. I can't remember what it is now, but <laughs> you know, what I mean, it, it doesn't really, but it doesn't really interest me. No, it doesn't interest me. It's uh, again, we're seeing these these sort of events where they're crossing over. They're happen, happening more and more, but. Like we saw uh, Mayweather McGregor years ago, but it was when Mayweather was at a stage of his career where, like, it was either take a few of these fights or retire. Where he's not, he's not like he worked. Like Fury's still got massive fights as the as the heavyweight champion, yeah, like, and in boxing, yeah, like yeah. like the Usyk fight and AJ. Do you think though it's a case of like, okay, we know what it is. It's a big money fight. Fight him, but then in a month's time, let's get the proper f- back to business. You know, make yeah. make make that silly money, but then we know it's not going to take a lot out of you and Garnu. Then can we get a new sick fight a month later? That's yeah. what a fan yeah, will yeah. take. Yeah, yeah, I you think know? the uh, like the circus type fights that we're seeing, and people are interested in them, or else mm. they won't be happening, would they? But mm. I just think that, like they're always there. Then I think do it at the end of your career, yeah. Joe. Once you've done everything you you yeah. want to do, like. Fury using like for all the belts, yeah. it's like it's not been done before, has it? It'd be so, brilliant. it'd be brilliant. I think Fury AJ as well, Everyone yeah, to see yeah, it, that's still they? absolutely massive. Well, and that I could think, happen. I think uh, yeah. AJ's, I think people are, are sort of throwing him out the window a little bit mm. and a bit unjustly, really. He seems, it does seem like he's had a bit of a mental. Um, a few mental struggles since like the Usyk fight where he's been a bit gun shy and right, yeah, uh, through his belt. And... But I don't think he's deteriorated no. in anything physically or technically or anything. Mm. So I think he can get it back. I think it's just a case of getting that confidence and like it's a great opportunity for him to do that this weekend. Campbell, quick one on City. Um, you know, the, the we had the Community Shield. I thought they looked very good starting. Then Arsenal had a bit of the ball. Then City should have wrapped it up. Uh, with Phil, you know, 2-0, the game's over. Are you confident that City will be champions again? Yeah, we only turn up for the big ones, <laughs> as you see. <laughs> now, um, I do think it's going to be a lot harder this season. I think a lot of teams will be better. I think like Arsenal have added to the mm. squad. Kills me to say it, but United will be a lot better this year as well. So, I do think it'll be quite a close season. I, I see us edging it. I think we'll still... Uh, I do feel, still think we'll win the league, but yeah, a lot more, lot more nervous for, for going into this one. But we can't wait, and we can't wait for the weekend as well. Good luck, yeah, pal. Good luck, nice mate. Hello, Dad, as well. Thank you for popping in, and uh, keep it going, eh? Brilliant. No, nice one. Lovely, Campbell Hatton there. Man.